to everyone, welcome. Welcome to all of you in this new year, 2024. I hope that you had some time with family, that you could enjoy the holidays. And may this year bring you new focuses on your own personal life. And as always say, the journey is your destination. No journey, there is no destination. So, this is your pastor, Yeti. I wish you a year in good health, strength, and faith, and a lot of new things that will unfold for yourself. May also the podcast that I serve you help you in a certain kind of direction. So let's move forward with falling into the arms of God by our beloved Saint Teresa of Avila. Use of the intellect. Lack of knowledge causes the affliction of many people. Interior trials, melancholy and loss of health. As we rebound from the age of reason and come to acknowledge the other faculties that we have been blessed with, let us not swing too far on the pendulum and disregard how the intellect can be used for our benefit. A common phrase we hear today is, it is only the mind, and subsequently we throw all thoughts away. But sometimes those thoughts could be telling us something that we need to know. This tendency is to suspend our intellectual faculties when we engage in our spiritual life can have unfortunate and unnecessary consequences. Everything can be used in returning home. It is a matter of knowing how and when, of knowing which faculties are most beneficial. It is a matter of discernment. Teresa made the distinctions between the mind and the intellect. She understood the mind to be the smaller self with its constant requests, questions, and worries. The intellect, on the other hand, is a sophisticated tool that we can use in returning to God. Along with writing about her interior life, she also enjoyed speaking with the knowledgeable people who understood the state of being she was describing. To give form to her experiences through words, enabled her to have a deeper understanding and confirmation of her own life. Articulating her interiority was something Teresa sometimes struggled with, but she realized the great value of doing so. It not only served as a guide to, other, to others having similar experiences, but it also acted as a reminder for her when she encountered doubt or confusion. The intellect can be especially helpful in these times, she said, since it can remind us of past times when we erroneously succumbed to these doubting states. It can speak to us of what we know to the true and can add us in not becoming flooded by emotions and thoughts that can take us further away from God. And likewise, when we may feel old 
insecurities arises. The intellect can remind us that these feelings are no longer necessary, that we do not need to revisit the part in order to live confidentially in the present. The intellect can tell us again and again that wonderful story of how we are loved. What we have learned from past mistakes is always recorded by the intellect and can be accessed at any time. We can ask that the intellect be used for our higher good. And we can use it for our own and the world's advancement. The intellect, when openly connected with the Divine Presence, can also be used to bring forward all types of wonderful inventions, whether technological, technological, that's a better word, environmental, or in the realm of human development. If used in service to God and to humanity, then it can only be for the good of all. The intellect is the container of knowledge, not what we have been told, but what we have experienced, and also more. It enabled us to enter the divine realm of knowledge, of Gnosis. It can take us places and show us things that the divine intellect is creating and thinking and making available to us, and let us honor the intellect's role in our life. For in denying any part of ourselves, we are denying God. Now let us take us a moment of peaceful time <clears throat> for our meditation. Letting the mind come into a place of rest. Call forth your intellect. Ask that it be divinely inspired and offer it to serve the greater good of all. Allow your natural gift of discernment to come before you and give thanks for its wisdom. And open yourself to receive that wisdom. Honor your past mistakes and let yourself learn from them. Let your intellect be guided by God in bringing whatever you need right now. Because indeed, for in denying any part of ourselves, we are denying God. And denying yourself is denying the life you have in front of you and the past you're right in the middle I don't say take everything that happened in the past again with you and suffer from it no we learn from our past the mistakes we made if we look back we can call them back to review them and learn from them not to sit on the bench and grieving again of a big loss or the biggest mistake you ever did and name it no it's putting it back so don't shut out your thoughts let they give you insight and wisdom as I say the journey is your destination you can set up goals of what you do in the space in between may God bless you in this new year with good health and happiness prosperity and love this is your Pastor Yeti. Bye-bye.